Uh, hi, my uh, self, Dr. Saurabh Gupta, and uh, in this video, I am uh, going to brief about the uh, markings for the Rendal Denison repair. So, uh, I am just describing it on the figure. I have taken a, a picture, a picture representation for this. And uh, as you know that there are mainly two procedures. Well, the mo uh, most of the surgeons are comfortable with the Millard's uh, rotation advancement flap, but uh, the geometrical uh, uh, this description of the Rendal Tennyson repair is a bit uh, technically difficult, so I'm going to discuss it on detail uh, in this diagram. So uh, coming to the Rendal Tennyson repair, so in uh, this thing we uh, this is a uh, uh, this is a photograph of a child who is having a left-sided uh, complete cleft lip, and I'm going to discuss the uh, details. So when you see uh, here. Okay. So uh, as you see uh, on this figure, so we have some uh, markings uh, which we uh, want to just uh, uh, put in here so we can discuss it in detail. So uh, we take a point one which is uh, the uh, on the Cupid's bow, it's a depression on the Cupid's bow. Point two is a, uh, this thing is a highest point on the non cleft side and uh, this equidistance is point three. We can mark with the vernier calipers. And uh, such that uh, one uh, such that one uh, uh, distance between the one two is equal to one and three. So these are both equidistant. Now uh, after marking point one two and three, we go to mark uh, point four, which is on the base of the columella on the right side. Similarly, at the base of the columella uh, here, it's uh, point five. It is on the cleft side, and uh, uh, cleft side right of the uh, columella. Uh, again, there is a point six, which is on the base of the ella, on the lateral segment of the cleft lip, and uh, <clears throat> this is a basically a point from where we uh, plan our uh, the distal uh, flap. <clears throat> now, coming to the uh, other markings, uh, this is from point we join point from two to point four. This is the normal filtral length on the non-cleft side, and we also join from point one to the midline of the columella for the markings. And uh, the, from the point three, you see that we uh, draw a perpendicular line on on, on this midline. Uh, this uh, this point is uh, the seven. So basically, when we uh, uh, make a cut over here, so this part of the lip it falls down, and there is a triangular gap. And in this triangular gap, we are going to fit uh, a small triangle from the lateral segment, so that the length of the uh, this lateral uh, the part of the left side of the uh, uh, filtrum is restored. So, how to uh, find a triangle? And I just want to tell you about uh, this is point seven, and similarly, uh, there is a point uh, we have to mark a point eight here. So. Generally speaking, the point eight is like if we uh, try to calculate uh, from uh, from the commissure uh, to the point two, from uh, the same distance is from the uh, the commissure on the left side to the point eight. But generally speaking, so it has to be seen that where the vermilion uh, thins out. The, there is a most prominent point of the uh, vermilion and post um, most uh, cranially it it uh, is decreased uh, in <coughs> volume. So this is the point eight, and from the point eight. This is the main uh, reference point here. So now we have to mark the uh, triangle. So the basis of this triangle is how to mark this. So we just calculate the length from three to five. Okay, we take the length from three to five and put our calipers here at the point six and make a arc like this. We can make a arc, which supposedly we become a uh, point number nine. So arc. The other the other arm of the arc is <coughs> basically described. By uh, just subtracting this length from three to five from the length from four four to two, okay. So this is the normal filter length. This is the deficient filtrum. So we have you can see that the distance between uh, eight to nine is that uh, we have to subtract the distance of five and three from the distance from four and two. Okay. So this will give the deficiency of the filtrum on the cleft side. So when we fit, then when uh, this segment goes here into this area, so the deficiency is completed with the length of eight to nine. Now this is an isosceles triangle. So how do we get the uh, arm of this triangle? Like we have to just feed it, this triangle into this area. So we have to calculate the distance between three to seven. Okay. So with the vernier calipers and the same distance, we keep it on the point eight. We take a R here. And with a similar distance, we keep the one arm of the vernier calipers on the point nine, and then we 
put it here again the where the two arcs cut each other this becomes our reference point for the tip of the triangle we join these triangles like this and this becomes our isosceles triangle the whole of the three uh, limbs of the triangle are known from the point 9 we just draw this thing this is another pairing incision and from point 8 we directly go down to the level uh, to the vestibule okay so <clears throat> now we start pairing this and this 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 incision goes like this like this and this area is discarded off okay this is a hyperplastic uh, vermilion uh, area in the mucosa area hyperplastic this is discarded off okay so now this is the best time see uh, if the person the baby is having a cleft palate and a concomitant cleft palate so this is the best time and uh, we should have a anterior palate repair done also so we have to gonna extend this incision inside over the septum and the mucopericonderium here from the septum and similarly this incision inside of the uh, just above the uh, inferior turbinate over here we just uh, separated here and start just repairing it so that the <coughs> the cavities are separated similarly when these are done <coughs> and pairing is done then we have to just feed the triangle uh, into the de defect and we can have a perfect anatomical repair with all geometrical markings uh, in the the only difference with the uh, millard's repair is uh, with the millard's rotation advancement is that uh, the millard uh, rotation advancement is like the uh, the surgeons uh, the cut as you go the cut as you go so it is all depends upon your uh, how you feels it is because it has no any geometrical markings as per se so uh, there may be some errors also in uh, this thing but when we are planning to do this uh, repair of the cleft lip by the rendal tenison repair so we are pretty sure about the markings and everything is pretty sure and we are going to do it and the results are uh, also very very uh, <clears throat> satisfying thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much